I right, tow to the back, entry like Tom Wolf. Finish nice and long like so. And reverse. Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today I'm throwing some discus. I also want to cover today the difference between a reverse and a non-reverse in a throw because I've seen a few comments on a couple previous videos asking like what the reverse is and how to do the reverse and tips about the reverse. So I just want to cover that a little bit today, a little later on. But first things first, I'm going to start with some stand throws. And the same thing as always, really making sure I'm not pulling off and just continuing to work the disc around keeping it kind of level with my shoulder, not letting it get too far behind. That way I'm not dragging it. Let's get into it. I got James on the camera right now and I'm moving on to reverse. I just want to quickly explain what the reverse is and what you're trying to achieve with it. So the non-reverse is what I was just showing where you finish and keep your feet where they are. The reverse, the only difference is you're basically trying to get into the throw so far that it almost forces your feet to change. So if you start to think of it as a jump, like you're trying to jump, that's when you'll start to shift, start to do weird stuff and get out of position. So the non-reverse, continue through and basically switch your feet, which allows you to have Get your arm out longer over the edge of the ring so you've got yeah longer throw and it can go further So I just want to quickly talk about, again, the whole purpose of the reverse. It's really just an extension of your non-reverse. So that's why I always start with non-reverses to get the feeling, to find my positions. And then after that, I try to add in the reverse because when I get that non-reverse, I feel the nice block. I feel my legs turning through. And then I try to continue that same feeling when I get to the reverse rather than going right to a reverse. And sometimes you'll start to think about the reverse as a part of the throw rather than a result of the throw. And if you think about it as a part of the throw, you can start to get shifty trying to bend your legs to load them up so you can get a big jump. And that's not really what you're trying to do. It's just continue the movement long over the edge of the ring and switch your feet to basically keep you in the circle. And I mean, there's different approaches to it and different things that you can try to achieve with the reverse. But that's what I've been taught. That's what I work on. And I just wanted to explain it to you guys in case it wasn't clear to some of you. But yeah, anyway, let's continue with these uh, non-reverse folds. Do a few of those, find the feeling getting my hips through, hitting a nice block, and then I'll move into reverses after that. These folds right now, I'm just trying to think tall, keep the disc with me out of the back, not getting behind me, and then long with my right, all through the throw. On the finish, keep it long. Just Alright, so to help myself be tall out of the back and shot put, I was trying to work on Tom Walsh's technique, opening up with my right side and getting my left leg back. If you watched my last shot put video, that's what I covered. So I want to try to do the same thing in discus, see if that can help me be more balanced. Um, I've had the problem the last few practices of like jumping too far across the ring. So I'm thinking that maybe doing this entry can help me stay nice and tall, not be falling into the middle, giving me more room and a better throw. So give it a try, see how it works. And I mean, that's kind of what it is right now, just playing around with my technique. Really like what I'm feeling just on the finish. It feels like I'm kind of like arching backwards. So I'm gonna try to keep my right arm long on the finish again, see if that can help me get through with my left side and have a more powerful directed, directed finish. I 
Right now, really liking that feeling with the Tom Walsh entry for the discus and trying to get the stall finish, keeping my right arm nice and long to get my left arm on that same path nice and long. Let's keep it up. Moving on to reverse, and the same thing as non-reverse, just trying to work long with my right, long with my left on the finish. Turn all the way through, and then the reverse is just a result of me really turning all the way through. Tall out of the back, open with my right, my left. Anyway, long, long finish with my left side and continue to work that all the way through into the reverse. Tall to the back, entry like Tom Walsh. Finish nice and long like so. And reverse. Finally feeling so close, really happy with what I'm feeling today. The biggest thing right now that I'm feeling is on the finish. I feel like I'm like really like arching backwards, it's kind of a weird finish. So I just want to continue to try to work it into the throwing direction and finishing with my reverse in the throwing direction rather than kind of up and backwards weird. Um, it feels really good, good through the circle, good positions. I'm not fouling on many throws. It's coming together, so let's try to work on that right now. Oh man, finally a good discus day. Super happy with that. It's been the first practice in like a month or so that I've actually been like proud to say it was a good discus practice. So super happy with that. Today just working that Tom Walsh entry out of the back. Same thing as I'm doing on shot put. You can see that in my last video, but it's basically just, if you watch him throw, his entry out of the back gets really open with his like left arm and his right leg gets behind him and it's a position that's nice and tall. So for me, I really like that feeling. Going to the middle for disc, it makes it so I don't jump as far. I've got more space in the circle. Um, in the finish, same thing, trying to work the uh, Daniel Stahl finish with long right shoulder and finish nice and long with my left also. The throws that I really thought about that position, I finished a lot more directional. Uh, the disc was going like into the middle and felt like I had a lot more power. And the ones that I thought more about the back and kind of forgot about that cue on the finish, my head started to get back and it was kind of weird. but. Overall, super happy with the day. It's feeling good through the circle, so we're going to continue to work that. Hopefully, I'm back on track, good to go, because the season starts soon, so I'm really excited for that. And other than that, for the reverse, I just wanted to show a bit of that today, explain it for some people that maybe didn't make sense to or want to try it or don't know how to start trying it because they're thinking about it as a separate movement rather than a result of a nice long throw. 
Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe for more. I'll be back very soon with another video. See you guys in the next one.